Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, it's been a while, hasn't it? Hope you had a great holiday season and a happy new year to you. Thanks for joining me in 2011. So the tip that I am going to share with you today has to do with external references. So those of you who work with a lot of extracts might find this coming in handy. Uh, if you've ever been in a situation where somebody has bound an external reference, so now it's a block, right? No longer has that connection to the external file, so it no longer automatically updates. You can know, you know just how frustrating that can be. So I'm gonna share with you a great express tool that's gonna to make your life very, very easy because we're gonna show you how to take that block and convert it into an XREF. Now most of us would probably just delete the block, reattach it as an XREF. This is much easier. So right in my drawing I have right here, let me just go ahead and click on the screen. This happens to be a block and you can see that little block reference information on there. Somebody bound it to the drawing and I'm gonna put it back as an XREF using this great tool it's an express tool, and I'm going to drop this down right here and use this command called convert block to xref, which actually executes a tool called block to xref. So you can key that in directly as well if that makes you happy. Super simple. First thing I'm going to do is tell the name of the block inside of my drawing that I want to use and say, okay, there it is. Stadium Complex Plan, that's the name of that block. Now it needs to know what the external file is. You know, what, where did it used to be connected to? And in this case, it happened to be connected to a drawing with the same name, Stadium Complex Plan. So I'm gonna say, open. Now it does ask you if you wanna purge any of the unreferenced items, clean it all out. Sounds like a great idea, right? You'll be very tempted to say yes. If you're on 2010 or 2011, I think you should say no, because bad things have happened to me when I've said yes, <laughs> so I'm gonna say no. Give it just a quick second, it's thinking about it, it's making that connection, and when it's finished, you will see that if I move my cursor up here now, that it tells me, hey, it happens to be an external reference, yay, it worked, and we all live happily ever after. So what if you no longer have the original file on the hard drive, or you, somebody moved it, or you don't know where it is? You can always take your block, and you can convert it into an XREF, right? You guys know how to do that, right? You can take a block and convert it into an XREF. Super, super simple, right? Um, let me just kind of, let's go back, let's go into the XREF manager just really quickly. And we're gonna undo this. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bind it again. We're gonna be bad, we're gonna bind it again. Let me close this up. Let me just show you really quickly how to take your block, just in case you don't know, and convert it into a W block. Super simple. There's this great command, been around forever, called W block, stands for write block. Write it to the hard drive. And so easy. I'm just going to go find that block. Drop this list down. Let's go find stadium complex plan. There it is. And then you have to just simply tell it where you want it saved on the hard drive. So I'll just go ahead and save it wherever. Actually, I think I already have it saved there, so I'm gonna cancel out of there. But it will make a file on the hard drive, in this case, with the same name as my block, and then I can go into that cool express tool and everything will work out fine. All right, so give that guy a try, right? The fabulous convert block to XREF is gonna save you time. Gonna add, put that connection back between the block and the uh, ex, inside your join and the external reference. Everybody's gonna live happily ever after. And I am gonna see you back here in two more weeks. Thanks for joining me.